Hey everyone, today I'm going to review for you set number 76128 Molten Man Battle. This is, I think, the medium sized set from the all the three Far From Home sets, and I think this one is actually my favorite. Um, I think I have the Stark Jet too, but I feel like this one is actually really unique because, you know, it's something different. It's not like a mech or anything, but, you know, I guess this is one of the characters that show up in the movie or one of the bad guys. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's start off with the minifigures, actually. Um, let's start off with the one that's frequent in all the sets. So Mysterio is not a rare figure at all. He, I wish I can actually zoom in. This is a new camera, so... Uh, yeah, this is the closest I'm gonna get. So basically, he comes in all three of the Far From Home sets. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It's actually easier to get him, uh, which is awesome. But I wish he would have come with something different in each of the sets. I don't know. I just feel like he should have a different design. I don't know what I mean by that, but yeah. So you, when you open it up, you just get a chrome gray head. It's not chrome, but it's you, it, you kind of get that shine over there. And it doesn't have any printing on the head whatsoever. It's just on its own. And it's when you put this on, it kind of gives that kind of blown up effect. Kind of that smoke effect. So I really like that. And then, as seen in the trailer, if you did see the trailer, it's basically, um, yeah, the exact same thing. Um, and then I really like how the cape is purple. I don't think we've ever gotten a purple uh, soft fabric cape, cape ever. And then you see the back side where, you know, it's a continuation of his cape. You can see on the top over there and then a bit more printing on the back. There's no leg printing on the back or the sides. Well, what am I saying on the back? But yeah, on the sides there's usually leg printing, um, but only on the front this time. And he gets two of those um, energy power blasts, something like that, and then you flick it and then it just goes like that. But I usually don't like those in the first place. They're kind of weird, to be honest. And yeah, that's Mysterio. And then the second one is just a general firefighter. I wish he had a name or something like that. It would have been kind of cool. But no, he just uh, comes with a, a dark red firefighter hat. And there's obviously no printing on the backs of his face. And once you put that, he's kind of angry. I think you can see... I thought I could see some sweat on there, but I guess not. Um, and then you can put that on. It's actually unique how they did the... Um, the fire extinguisher because they usually don't do this type of design it's kind of weird actually but at the same time it's actually pretty cool they used one of those pirates of the caribbean uh pistols or the pot you know the pistol from the pirates lines and then they just put it on top of um what is this a technique um barrel is what i like to call it and then you just put that on there and it's pretty cool um i think this uh, firefighter is unique i'm not really sure i feel like i've seen this before but at the same time it also looks pretty new he has all sorts of equipment um, on his torso, and he has a printing. He is printing on the front of his legs, uh, nothing on the sides. And then on the back, you can see the firefighter green emblem with a bunch of walkie-talkies. Well, one walkie-talkie, a pair of handcuffs. It looks like handcuffs. I don't know what that is actually. Um, but yeah, I wish I can show it this close, but I don't know. And there's also two kind of strap holders where he can just you know attach on it and maybe go save some people and then the last one is the exclusive spider-man costume i think this is just it says spider-man on the box but you know i i feel like this is supposed to have like a certain name to it i think it's like the shield costume maybe nick fury gives it to him i still don't know why he's alive well actually i do know why he's alive but i really don't want to spoil it at this point but yeah uh, I really like the suit. It's really unique. You get uh, a lot of um, interesting details on the front of his torso. It's pretty cool. You get. I, th I wish they would have printed a small shield um, logo on this button over here. But I think that would have been way too small to add details without it getting messed up. And then the intricate detail even continues on the legs. And it's on a black... Um, what is that? Black legs leg piece and then on the back you get printing over here too and there's also printing on the back of the head which is awesome it's supposed to continue that kind of um mask look and then you see the separate eye display kind of thing and if i saw in the trailer um it basically it's separate yeah and it's pretty cool and he does come with a bunch of web accessories this is one of them and what you're supposed to do basically is just you're supposed to attach onto one of these and he's just supposed to swing around 
Uh, if I can show this now. Yeah, he's just supposed to hold on and then just swing around and do whatever. So that's cool. But these are the other ones. You get actually web cuffs. I don't know why you would have web cuffs. I don't think he's ever had web cuffs. But what they do is basically you just attach them like that. I don't think these are web cuffs. It's just like maybe um, if he, in, in a certain scene of the movie, he probably just uh, puts a bunch of webbing that ties both his arms together or anyone's arms together. And there you go. It's pretty cool. Uh, it only has one um, attachment on one side and it doesn't have an att attachment on the other. It's kind of blank because, you know, it would be easier to take out. And then the next one is a big web. You get that and then you get two small webs. And then you get this one big kind of web thing. I don't know what it is. At first, I, up until now, I still didn't know what like why it kept, um, you know, it, why it kept falling off like that. And I was wondering why they would do that in the first place. It's kind of weird that they would just leave it like that. But I looked at the box before uh, doing the review and I forgot this piece, the stud with the hole in it. So now it'll be way easier to actually keep this on here. Uh, sometimes I don't pay attention to some of the smaller details of the instructions. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. I mess up once in a while. And then you can just make him hold that. And you can just do that. There you go. And it's, it looks really huge and it looks really weird. But I guess you just put it like that. And yeah. And then you just do that. So now let's go to the set itself. It's actually a really awesome set. This is one of the three villains that are in the movie, I think. There's... Um, this one's Molten Man, there's another one, Hydro Man, and the other one is... Yeah, I forgot. And there's three of them, I just forgot completely what they are. Um, and then you actually... There's so much detail in here, there's a lot of trans pieces too. Uh, trans orange pieces. Uh, but some of them are plain trans orange pieces, like this one. I have to keep switching it over here. So you get these ones that are just plain trans orange, but then you've also got these ones which have like shiny gold on it, which is actually really awesome. I, I prefer the ones with gold on it rather than just the plain ones, but the plain ones also could be used for a lot of maybe fire displays or something like that. And there's just a lot of um, random pieces put on here to just make it look like he's all damaged and everything. You also get like a car, half a car stuck in here stuck in his body and then you've got a traffic light um, which has the sign saying Crater Road. I don't know what that's supposed to mean in the movie. Maybe it's just a street. It doesn't have any significance. And then you've got a street, another street sign over here which just says no cars. And then you've got on ball joints two I believe of these things. There's one over here and then there's another one over here. It's actually pretty sturdy. It doesn't fall too much, but sometimes it feels like it's going to fall off really easily. And then you've got one hand where he has a claw. You can just hold on to maybe the fireman. Just hold on like that. And then the other one is a stud shooter. I haven't seen these in a while. It's not just a stud shooter. It's one of those six stud shooters. And the last time I saw these was probably in the Bionicle line, the one where they were new. And I think I saw this in uh, one of the Masters or something, something like that. And then, as far as stickers go, there's two. There's actually, well, what am I saying? There's four, actually. And I like that because, you know, I, if I had to put stickers on any other pieces, if this was a sticker, that would be pretty disappointing. But this is a printed shoulder pad piece, actually, which is really awesome. They captured that detail really nicely. And then it's on put on over here uh, it kept it keeps falling off only if I take it off in the first place and this is the first time I'm taking it off there's yeah there's actually a couple of stickers here one two three four five yeah something like that. five or six stickers is enough actually for a Lego set this small actually and then they also have these kind of dripping kind of um, lava kind of thing it's like a it's supposed to show that the lava is dripping off of him, which is also a really nice detail. And on the back, there's nothing too special. When you take that down, you just see another um, trans orange piece. Uh, what is that? 
a cylinder on the back. And yeah, again, sometimes it's hard to can just oh oh boy. Yeah, some you have to be careful with these two because these can also bend and probably just stay like that forever. And yeah, this is a pretty cool set. I recommend that you get this one, but there's also the other ones which I will review once I get them. I do have the Stark Jet, so I'll be reviewing that soon too. But yeah, this is the set. It's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.